Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Welcome back to our studio. Uh, this is Callum. Hello. And today we have a rather ambitious project where we're going to be comparing uh, sets of seven string strings. Um, I was looking for all sorts of different strings and I realised that there aren't as many sets for sevens as there are for sixes. Like, for example, the Ernie Ball M steals. I was thinking, oh, well, what that sound like for sevens? They don't do them. <laughs> Great! <laughs> so, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a shootout of as many seven string strings as we could get hold of. So, uh, Chris, what have we got? Uh, we have... Elixirs! Elixirs! Diodario's nickel ones, is it? Uh, that's the NYXL. We've got Diodario NYXLs. And nickel mounts. And the nickels. Uh, Roto yellow yellows. Roto sounds, yep. Yeah. DR type fit. DR. Uh, heavy core strings. Hey, the Dunlop, Dunlop heavy core. Yep. Yeah. Early ball slinkies. Early ball standard slinkies. Monster heavy series. The clear tone, clear tone monsters, yep. yep. Dean Markley. Dean Markley's nickel strings. I tried to get some blue steels, but they weren't available. GHS boomers. GHS boomers. And a Dunlop nickel bound. And Dunlop, the super brights. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's 12 sets. So um, the interesting thing is they're all 10 gauge. But what's different about some of them is some of them are 10 to 56, some of them are like 10 to 58, 10 to 60. To try and keep it fair, we've gone with the, the tens set with all of them because you know what you're getting with tens, right? Well, at least that's the idea. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a blind test. So for you guys at home and also for Callum, we're not going to tell any of you what the strings are. They're going to be set number one, set number two, yada, 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 yada. So we have... A rather lovely piece of paper here. It seems as though my uh, drawing skills are incredible. Um, it looks like a five-year-old's done it. <laughs> but the uh, principal stands, we're going to get Callum to give each set of strings a mark out of ten for feel. Uh, a mark out of ten for what he considers the tone to be. Because uh, that's just uh, Callum's opinion. Uh, we're not going to have an opinion on the tone. Maybe we'll talk about that at the end. And you guys, of course, will have your own rating for tone. Stability which is uh, after stretching the strings out to you know, get them worked in. Do we have to keep retuning them all the time or are they absolutely solid? And then value we'll talk about at the end when we reveal which strings are which because then we'll say how much they cost. And then just talk about is it worth it? So we're going to do a very, very heavy track. Obviously, I mean, it's a seven string. Why wouldn't you? So we're using a PV6505+, plus the 120 watt head. I usually have my little kind of combo, but we're using the real deal today. We've got Callum's big beast. Going through a Zilla 4x12, mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a Sennheiser 421. And we're going to do the heavy channel with the Tube Screamer. And we're going to do a clean piece without. So without further ado, let's make some metal noises.
And there you have it, 12 different types of strings. So, before we do the big reveal, to be continued! <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Sorry, but we've got to give you a week to stew and go, it could be these strings, it could be that string. So, stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching, we'll see you very soon.